Hello, this is Mr. Jehan, and here's something kind of cool that I made. Um, it's called a cohere. Um, it's just basically two um, two terminals um, or probes with a little bit of um, some kind of metal filings in in between them, and there's a little piece of rubber tubing around the outside. You can't really see it on this one. You can more on this one. These, this one's made out of two fuses, and then there's iron filings in this one, and this one has actually copper filings, um, but I just used, yeah, that's the iron filings and here's the copper filings that I used. Um, but it works, it was used back, I don't know, 19, I don't know, I'm not, 1950s or something like that, um, for, to pick up, to sense radio signals, um, so this, this would be the antenna, or one of these two terminals here would be the antenna, and <clears throat> when there'd be a spike of voltage, the little um, shavings of metal in there would rearrange in such an order that they would start conducting electricity and turn on the load. So here's my batteries here and an LED. Um, so when there's a spike of voltage in the system, um, it will turn the LED on. So I could just demonstrate that with a comb right now. Um, but see, the LED just turn, turned on. It's kind of dim. And then if you tap it, it rearranges them so they don't conduct electricity anymore. So it's basically a semiconductor. So it's kind of cool. So it turn. Sometimes it randomly turns on from static electricity or something in the air. But yeah, it's kind of cool. So tap it, and then you bring the comb near it, and it turns on. So now I'll show you. Okay, make sure it's off. <clears throat> so if you take a little piezoelectric sparker from a little igniter and put two wires on each end. Okay, and then you have it have the spark just right so that it, um, when you push down it arcs across, it will create a um, RF pulse and turn it on and be picked up by these other antennas and turn it on. So let's see if this is going to work. I don't know if you'll be able to see the LED or not. There we go, it turned on. I think you can see that. I don't know. Well, turned on. LED's right there. So, um, okay, so it can even, this, this one. The one with the copper filings works a lot better than this iron filings one. And actually this iron filings one, at first I couldn't really get it to work very well. So I added this third terminal and that seemed to, I was just kind of experimenting around. But that kind of see, made weird, some weird effects so you could, um, I don't know. That was just kind of weird, just an experiment. Oh, it's on. It's turning on the motor here. Okay, turn it off. It's turning back on. Okay. So, whoop. keeps trying to turn on. It's picking up static electricity or something. There we go. Just turned on. Tap it. And there we go. Turns on. So that's kind of cool. It's just kind of neat little circuit. Um, so yeah, um, I got this idea from um, website. I'm, I'm not sure if he has a YouTube channel or not. Um, I think it's like Buzz Bang Spark or something like that. Um, I'll put a link in the description or something like that. So go check out that website. It's really, he has a lot of interesting projects on there. Um, I think he has some homemade oscilloscope projects. Um, I know he has some, like, those flame, um, where you have a flame and then there's, you put probes into it and you can use it as kind of like a vacuum tube almost. It's kind of cool. Um, he's got a lot of cool experiments on there that you can um, try. So yeah, go check out his website. Um, thanks for watching.